Don't worry, my precious ones. Sammy the Brave will protect you. Hey, Sammy. Ah! <laughs> What's with all the mess here? I woke up today being anxious, Susan. I feel like my stationery might be stolen. <laughs> By whom? The pencil thieves? That's not funny at all. My slime instinct never fails me. Okay, okay. Why don't you just hide everything in the organizers then? We've already made a whole bunch. Oh, why can't you understand? That's the most obvious place where those burglars will look for them. Hmm, then we can make a fake organizer, which at first glance will have nothing to do with stationery. Let's go. Hi, guys. I hope you're in the mood for yet another awesome cardboard craft. So, is this gonna look like an alligator's head with sharp, scary teeth? Or we will make it in the shape of, uh, a car, which will drive away the burglars really fast? Oh, sweet sugar. Sammy, I can't stop being amazed by your vivid imagination. <gasps> I know. We'll make our organizer in a form of a nice armor suit, like the ones they have in castles. What are you talking about? This shiny paper strip, my lady. Sorry, Sammy, but you're as far from the right guess as possible. Guys, always work carefully with the glue. Then I don't see how today's organizer is going to differ from the ones that we've already made. Keep guessing, Sammy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, nice color. And the backside of our organizer is in its place. Aha! Uh -huh. If it has a backside, it might also have some other sides. Very well. Only these pieces need a slight adjustment. That's more like it. We need one more piece like this. Hmm. So far, it looks like she's making a box or something. Let's take a closer look. Yep, I was right. I mean, Sherlock Slimes was right. <laughs> Maybe Sir Slimes already knows what this is gonna be? A true detective always has mini versions. Is this going to be a mini house for pins and pencils? <laughs> nope, but there will be a door with a window. Fine, Sue, I give up. I have no ideas left. Please, tell me what are you making? Okay, but first, let me remind the guys to be careful with the glue gun. Now this piece goes right here. Hmm, interesting. Some kind of shelf, huh? We'll make a few shelves and drawers in this organizer in the shape of a microwave oven. What? It's mind-blowing! Am I right, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree! That's why you've made the silver edges to all those pieces! Yup. To make the whole thing look even more like a home appliance. But we can still make it look bright enough, right? <laughs> sure. Yippee! The world's greatest decorator, Samuel, already knows what to do. I just hope that he won't get too carried away. In the meantime, guys, let's make one more shiny edge. Susan, don't forget to add some vibrant color to that piece. Way ahead of you, Sammy. See for yourself. And I never forget to be careful with the glue gun, guys. You can also trust an adult with this job, people. By the way, Sammy, did you come up with something interesting for the craft? I'll tell you about it in a minute, Susie. In a minute. All right. And this one? Uh-huh. What's that? Hey, I didn't finish yet. Um, and what is this? Hello! It's gonna be the door for our microwave oven! But it's kind of too small for our craft. You took the measurements wrong. What? But I tried so hard! Oh, why does this always happen to me? I shouldn't have rushed! I know what to do! Really? I have a magic growth potion! Check this out! A bit of this, just a few drops, and... Now we're talking! Wow, Sue, you're a genius! But what about the middle part? For that, I know another great trick. Er, uh, what's going on? Come on! Finally, it worked! I know what you need! Here, take this, Susie! We're gonna touch that opening up to get something like this! It should look awesome! Wow, that's very ambitious, Sammy! <laughs> okay, I'll try to do my best. Let's get started! Guys, you are gonna need a lot of patience at this stage. You don't say. 
But if you want your craft to look perfect, trust me, it's worth it. A true crafter knows how to make simple things look pretty. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, I couldn't resist. Anyway, something's missing. I know! Every microwave oven has glass in its door! We can make one from… from… Oh, this might work! Actually, I already kind of dealt with it. Sammy? <laughs> Stand still! I'll take it off! Ugh, thanks, Susie! How on earth did you manage to get tangled in this? That's a mystery for me as well! It's like one second I only think about grabbing something, and in the next second, BAM! I get stuck! Well then, let's hide that nasty silver strip. And it won't hurt you again. Don't forget about the holder that will actually hold that door! <laughs> How could I? Oh, you even reinforced it with the double-sided tape. Well done! Guys, this will be the last stage with that door. Here we go. Check this out. It opens and closes. Do you want to find out what else I came up with? Then stay tuned, people! All right, Sammy. Let's deal with the other compartments. And I have already prepared everything, Sue! Wow, great! Now, guys, I'm gonna show you one new magic trick that I've recently mastered. Well, what do you say? Cool drawer, huh? Shiver me cheddars! How did you know this was the color I had in mind? We've been crafting together long enough for me to know that one for sure. Oh, yeah? In that case, you will easily guess how I made this! Uh-huh, this construction is made of cardboard and some colored paper. And apparently it goes right here, as well as this piece. Hmm, Susie, doesn't that place seem a bit too simple to you? What exactly are you talking about? There should be a way to make it look more microwave oven-y! And I'm gonna find it! <laughs> Good luck with that! In the meantime, guys… Check this out! Oh, I was afraid this day would come! What day? The day when Samuel the Great will be out of decor ideas! I couldn't come up with anything! Don't worry, Hill Tibidaba, I've got you! Whoa, what are these, Sue? So many colors! These are gonna save you, Samuel the Great, from an epic decor failure! I'd like to see that! All we need is to put everything together, starting with yellow. Wow, Sammy, you did the rest! Yup, and note that the inside of the drawers match with their handles and color! You're right! Wow, Sue! Our craft really looks like a microwave oven now! Almost! We just need to come up with something for this space! Wait, wait, wait! I think I have a perfect idea! Just give me a sec! Are you ready? Now that's what I call teamwork! We're at the finish line, guys! Stay tuned! This way the craft looks neater, right, guys? Oh, my favorite part of this craft is about to begin! Did we miss it, Susie? Where did the pencils go? <laughs> You're right in time! Hop! This little ring made of foam paper will hold a pen or pencil. Very handy. I know a perfect candidate for that place, Sue! Here, take this one! All right! Here we go! Excellent! And this won't let the pin get lost! We'll just glue it over here! Susie, could you hurry up, please? Hey, stop pushing me! Our station area is quite impatient! Okay, I'll try to wrap it up then! Guys, don't forget that you can get creative and make your microwave oven organizer look just the way you want! Sue's right! And you can fill up these drawers with something tasty as well! <laughs> Aw, somebody got hungry! Yeah… After such a cool craft, I wouldn't mind a cup of hot chocolate! <laughs> Oops! These handles look just like the microwave oven buttons! <laughs> Here. They fit in perfectly right here. Check this out. And close. Well, Sammy, I guess we're done. Actually, I have a couple more decor ideas. 
Give me a sec to do them off camera, and then you'll check out our organizer! Okay, let's see. Sam. And Heart! Sweet! I hope Sammy will enjoy this organizer for a long time. Ugh, Susie, we've got so many stationary items left. Why don't we make another organizer in the form of a fridge? No way! Or a washing machine. Wow. What a beautiful country. I love traveling the world. You get to see so many. Oh, oh, the maker phone's ringing, excuse me. Oh, it's Toki. <laughs> wow. Hello. It's Minute Make Time in the UK. I'm on my way. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Today, we're going to make one of these. It's a corner creature, a brilliant bookmark that keeps your favourite page in your favourite book. Now, we can make one of these by using these things. Let's have a look. We've got a glue stick, some scissors, some coloured cards. Now, we've got two squares and two triangles. And we'll also need some googly eyes. Now, you can find googly eyes in an art and craft shop, but today I'm going to save time by ordering some on my maker phone. Right, there we go. Googly eyes add to cart. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. Let's have a look inside. Right. Ah, yes, we've got some googly eyes. Brilliant, let's put these over here. I think we're ready. Now, my friends, do you think it's possible to make this corner creature in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'll have to be very quick, but don't worry. I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! All right. Are you ready, though? Brilliant. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one! Start the clock! Right, the first thing we're going to do is get one of these squares and our scissors and we're going to very carefully cut it in half. Now, we need to be careful because scissors are... Yeah! That's it. That'll give us two triangles. We're just going to have one of those now and we're going to get some glue and put some glue on this bottom edge here. And that will help us to stick on these other triangles, which will be our teeth. There we go. Let's bring it back in at green square now. And we're going to put some glue here on two of these edges. That's that one and that one, like that. Let's stick on the pink triangle like this. There it goes. Let's make sure it's stuck on. There it is. That's good. Now, we can turn it over and all we need are some googly eyes. So let's stick on googly eye number one. There we go. And we just need Googly eye number two, we have finished! <laughs> I did it! Just in time, but if you've got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. How about this big eyed corner creature with a pink paper tongue? Or you could even use fun fur to make a furry corner creature. <laughs> corner creatures made in just one minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Cut a square of paper into two triangles. Stick on paper teeth. Glue two edges of another paper square. And stick on your triangle like this. Add googly eyes. And your corner creature is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? 
Right, sir, I'm going to leave this corner creature with you. You look after this book, because I've got to go on more arty adventures. Thank you so much, my friends, for being part of another marvellous Minute Maid! Yeah! <laughs> By the way, we're making this organizer from really thick cardboard to make sure it serves us longer. Right, let's see. Now, let's deal with its filling. There we go. By the way, Susan, I really like your choice of colors. You're so getting a point for this. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Now let's carefully cut out this shape. Easy to make? Check! You know I must say this craft is a real candidate for an A. Wait, really? I mean, thanks for your high praise, Sammy, but, um... What? There can be no buts! The teacher's job is not only to evaluate their students' work, they also guide, explain, set an example... All right, all right, I got it! If you wanted me to help, you could just ask! Ugh. Thanks, but I was rather thinking you would come up with a simple paper craft yourself. I really like this piece that you've made, by the way. Ooh, great! I should probably deduct some points from you for my help. Hey! Sorry, Professor, but we have a perfect place for your pin right here. A few decorative elements will make this organizer look more like an iPhone. Don't forget about the brand resemblance with the reference, Sue! <laughs> Oh, that's right! And voila! The first paper craft is done! Wanna see more, guys? Stay tuned! Okay, Susie! Professor Sam is ready to teach you one very simple paper craft! Well then, I'm all ears! Okay! So fold each half of this paper sheet in half to the outside! Is that clear? Got it! It's like origami! By the way, guys, we made a video about that technique. You can find it on our channel. Right! Now flip this paper piece and make one more fold on the right half of it. Alright, I think I got this one too. Here we go. So I'm folding this half this way. And I guess I'm done. But... Wait, Sammy, what exactly are we making here? This is going to be a paper wallet for real cash! Well, in that case, we'd better secure it properly from both sides. Like this. Yup, perfect! For the next step, we'll need the double-sided duct tape once again! There you go! Perfect! We've got two pockets to store the cards and the bills! Awesome! Now it's time for decorations! And that's where your imagination steps in! Um, Sue? Sue? Shiver me chatters! What are you doing, Susan? Well, that's where my imagination took me. Don't you like it? Well, that doesn't look bad. But I thought I was in charge of the decor. Oops, I'm really sorry. Um, well, go ahead, Sammy. what I call unicorn magic! <laughs> you know, guys, I kind of feel awkward that I deprived Sam of the decoration process a bit. Let's cheer him up with a fidget toy! Here we have a slime inside the balloon! Now let's draw out a cute little face using a couple of permanent markers. Guys, did you already guess that this is going to be a cute little avocado? Ah, <laughs> uh, Sue, are you making this little cutie for me? There should be more pink on her then. Ugh, all right. <laughs> then pink it is. Cool, and we're ready to move on. Guys, I want to mess with Sammy a bit. <laughs> hey, Sammy, what's the date today? I don't know, Sue. I don't have my... Wait a second. Was that a hint about our next craft? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a table calendar. And a bunch of cute animals on it will indicate the month, the date, and the day of the week. Oh my feta! That sounds really cool! Guys, quick, give us a thumbs up if you agree! Now two little ears and a tiny bow. What do you say? 
I say? She needs a couple of cool friends not to feel lonely! I'll be right back! In the meantime, we need to glue these little paper strips to the back side of our character. Don't use too much glue, guys! Everything should look neat! Are you done, Susie? Check out what I've made! Wow! Sammy! You did a great job! Now we have all three windows for our calendar! Sweet! But it should be able to stand on the table, right? Watch this! Don't forget to secure the stand as well, guys! You see? Like this! Okay, let's check! Perfect fit! Now let's fill them all! Whoosh! And here's the rest! Cool! We can store the cards right here in this back pocket that I made beforehand! Simple? Yes! Genius? Definitely! <laughs> hey, my shy, slimy friend! How about a new ruler? Honestly, Sue? A ruler from paper? Hey! Ugh, Sue! But it will be very sparkly and with floating glitter! Guys, you are free to use glitter of any shape and color that you like! Woo! Now we'll need a mixture of water and coloring. Let's use a syringe to pour this colored oily liquid into the glitter. Oh, I love this color! Be careful! And try not to paint your fingers, boys and girls! Yeah, that's right! Okay, there we go! Wonderful! Guys, feel free to ask an adult to help you close this side really well. All we have left to do is attach a piece of paper with a ruler scale to it, and it's done! Shiver me cheddars if that was not the simplest craft today! Want something more complicated? You bet! Guys, for the next craft, we'll need a piece of paper. 20 by 20 centimeters folded like this. We'll make another organizer, but for pencils this time. Now let's deal with the corners. This way. Wait, wait, Sue! Is that pure origami this time? Well, I'm a master in that! Not exactly, but I could use your paper folding skills. I need two more paper pieces folded like this one. And here comes the first one! Pure perfection! You did great, Master Sam! And this is why this craft is not quite an origami. We're going to glue these two pieces this way. Perfect! Yeah, there is no place for glue in Japanese paper art! That's right! We'll glue these sides the same way to get a kind of box. Carefully, let's press it a little. All right! There! Great! And now we'll attach the third piece to it! Perfect! Shouldn't there be a bottom part? You're right, Sammy! But let's speed up a bit! All right, and we'll glue it in its place. Awesome! Press it well to make the construction sturdy. The decor part is mine this time! Unicorn power! Well done, Sammy! And voila! Okay, guys, it's been really fun today. No, no, Sue! We have more paper left! Just one more craft! Pretty, please! <laughs> all right, but you better really help me with all the pieces. Crafter Sam is at your service, ma'am! <laughs> Guys, this time we'll be using really thick colored paper. And this piece goes right here. Shouldn't we tell the guys exactly what this is gonna be? What do you think? Oh, you're right, Sammy! This will be a pencil case! You can store markers in it this way! Whoosh! Awesome, right? By the way, this part of the case should be able to stand. Kind of like this. So, we need to glue this tiny piece right over here. Great! Guys, the other half of the pencil case will be slightly different. Man, she does that fast! Let's add decorations to the inner part of the case. Fabulous! Do you like it as much as I do, guys? Whoa! Sammy, <laughs> when did you do that? I'm fast as Flash! Ha-ha! <laughs> That's true. Here's a closing strap as a final touch. Perfect! Well, guys, are you ready to count all the crafts we made today?
<laughs> What's this? It's a Mini Maker postcard. Let's see what we've been sent today. My name is EQ95 and I made this toy rocket chip. First I painted the tube, then I stuck the cone on, then I stuck the red and grey and yellow paper into the lid. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Neve and this is Rocky. First, I took a pebble from my mum's pot plant and then I took cotton wool from her bathroom and then I went to the shop and bought googly eyes and pipe cleaners and I stuck them on. Rocky is my pet rock. I hope you like him. Oh, what fantastic ideas. Why don't you try one of them at home? <laughs> oh, excuse me. The maker phone's ringing. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Hello, I'm Lisa from the UK and these are all my friends. Hello, mini makers. Can you help us make a picture? Oh, I'd love to. I'll be with you for a high five in five, four, three, two, one. We're in the UK. I made it. I told you I would. Right, let's get some high fives. Now, what picture would you like to make? An arty picture. Now, what's going to be in our picture? Paint. Paint. Of course, we need lots of paint. And what different colours of paint will there be? Red and green and purple and yellow. Oh, lovely. What else do you think we should have? Bell pens. Crayons. Great ideas. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! Let's make it together. We are making the pencils. This is a paint bottle. This is the paint box. And we'll need a really colourful background. Ah, yes. We're feeling very arty making our big picture. And that's just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making your own little art box. It looks great and it's incredibly useful. You will need a box and some card, paint and paint brushes, a ruler, stickers and a black pen, a glue stick and some sticky tape. First, take a long thin box and make sure one end is stuck down and the other end is left open. This is where you'll be able to store your pens and pencils. Give the box a coat of paint and leave it to dry. Next, take a piece of card and use a ruler to help you fold it like this. And then tape it to the box to make the lid. Now use stickers to make different coloured paints on your art box palette. Then add some detail with a black pen. Lastly, stick an old paintbrush to your paint box like this. Your art box pencil case is finished and ready for all your pens and pencils. What an arty idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's get back to our big picture. Well done, everyone. We made it together. Yay! Wow, you can make a giant picture with that art set. Mr. Maker here at home. 
we've been spending a lot more time at home recently and it's given me the chance to get lots of jobs done around this place. Yes, the washing up is never ending here. I'm sure a lot of grown-ups out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, I've been keeping busy and I've been keeping in touch with all my family and friends. And whilst you're here, why don't we give one of our CBeebies friends a call right now? <laughs> hey! Hello Ben, it's Mr Maker here. Ah, uh, there he is, Mr M. It is so good to see you. Great to see you too. How are you? Yeah, I'm alright, thanks. How are you? I've been keeping busy at home, making things, and looking after the shapes, of course. <laughs> oh, talking of which, Rectangle's here. Um, Rectangle, it's Ben from CBeebies. I am a Rectangle. I'll tell him. He says hello. Ah, uh, well, say hello back and tell him to keep walking tall. Yes, I will. Um, rectangle, Ben says keep walking tall. I am a Rectangle. Yes, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Ben, where were we? Uh, yeah, you said that you'd been making things. Oh yes, I've made lots of these. Whoa, no, uh, Mr. M, not sure about that. I don't really like big spiders. Don't worry, Ben, this isn't a spider. It's a very friendly, very fluffy pom-pom bug. It's one of my all-time favorite Mr. Makeup makes. They're easy to make and loads of fun. Shall I show you how to make one? Yes, please. Make it, Mr. Maker. Make it, Mr. Maker. That's me. Sorry, I got a little bit carried away. Go for it. Okay, Mini Makers, this is what you need to make a pom-pom bug. Some pipe cleaners. I've got four here that you can use as many as you like in whatever colours you like. You'll also need a glue stick, of course a pom-pom, and some googly eyes. Well, I'm ready. It looks like you're ready. Ben, are you ready? Ready. Great! Let's make it! The first thing I'm going to do is lay down the pipe cleaners into a sort of star shape in a crisscross fashion on top of each other. Now I'm going to grab the pipe cleaner at the bottom of the pile and wrap it round all of the others to secure them in place. Ooh, that bit looks tricky. It can be quite tricky, Ben. Ask a grown-up to help you, Mini Makers. It means that all of your legs are stuck together without the need of glue. And it also means you can bend the ends into wiggly leg and feet shapes. <laughs> there we go, looking good. Now I need to put a big splodge of glue in the middle there and stick on the pom-pom. Can I still make it if I can't find the materials at home? Good question, Ben. If you haven't got a pom-pom, you could use a scrunched up paper ball. And if you haven't got pipe cleaners, how about using card shapes to make feet for your bug? I just need to stick on the googly eyes now. There's one. Here comes the other one. Make sure he's looking good. He's finished! <laughs> the perfect pom-pom bug. <laughs> I think I'll call him Ben. Ben the bug, named after my lovely friend, Ben. <laughs> what do you think, Ben? Great name, great bug. I need to make one myself. Glad to hear that, my friend. You have fun and take care. Hey, thanks for the call and for making it, Mr. Maker. Cue the music! I want to hear it, Ben, come on! Make it, Mr. Maker. Yay! Top man! <laughs> Bye, Ben! See you, bud. Bye. Oh, it was great to see Ben, wasn't it? And so much fun making that pom-pom bug. I just... I... Oh, what's that noise? It, it sounds like snoring. It's coming from upstairs. I know who it is. It's the shapes. Yes, look, it's the shapes. Circle, triangle, square and rectangle. All snoring away. With the shape still asleep, it means no shape dance today and no singing to I am a shape. <laughs> it's a real shame, but I suppose the only way we could do those things is if I put on shape costumes and did the dance myself. <laughs> but I can't do that. <laughs> Can I? Triangle. Make your 
very own triangle from Simple Materials. First, ask a grown-up to help you find an old clean yellow cloth that you can safely reuse. You then need to cut out a triangle shape. Be careful, scissors are sharp. We have our soft yellow triangle, and now we need to use some pipe cleaners to make two feet. On each pipe cleaner piece, simply twist one end around and around into a foot shape. Stick on your feet using sticky tape, and then turn your triangle over. Add a dark pipe cleaner for a smile, and stick on googly eyes or round stickers. And your new triangle is finished and ready to dance. I am a triangle. Oh, thank you for coming to visit me at home today. We've had a great time. We made a call to our friend Ben. Then we made a pom-pom bug called Ben. And we made some great shape dance moves. Keep watching CBBS for more arty ideas. Keep making things and take care. I'll see you soon. <laughs>
Just practice your shots. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice shot. Michael Jordan, eat your heart out. I don't think he'll be too worried, Stephen. Now, look, will you stop shooting me hoops and make me one instead? Because the first thing you have to do is get a coat hanger and bend it into a hoop shape. There you go, Stephen. Right. And you may want to get some help when you do this. You also need lots of this stuff. Parcel wrapping ribbon and some beads with a really nice wide hole. Once you've chosen the beads that you want, you need to get your hoop back. There you go. That's very quick, Stephen. Thank you. And you want to put it at a comfortable working height. So let's just attach that with some sticky tape onto here. And then you want to get 20 one metre lengths of parcel ribbon and tie them onto your hoop. Just like that. Now, for the backboard, you need a large bit of cardboard and you need to get a perfect semicircle. And here's a cool way of getting it. So you use a piece of string. To one end, you tie a pencil and then you measure about half the width of your cardboard. And to the other end, you tie a knot and through that, you put a drawing pin. Stick the drawing pin into the cardboard and then just draw and you get a perfect semicircle. Then you cut this out and paint it any colour you want. We... Oui? I've gone for yellow. And I've started on the basket. What you need to do is take two separate pieces of parcel ribbon and then get one of your beads with a nice wide hole and thread it on like that. Then push the bead right the way up to the top until you get a little triangle like that. And just keep going around and around and around and around. I think you get the picture. You just have to keep going around until you're happy with the length. And then when you are, you need to go around one more time, but this time without beads, just using knots instead so the beads don't fall off. Now, you can actually make your whole basket using knots and using no beads at all, but beads make it look a lot nicer, it's easier and it's quicker. And to connect it to your backboard, all you do is straighten out the hook of your coat hanger and push it through the bottom part of your backboard and again you might want to get a bit of help with this tape it in place and there you have it and as you can see with our one we've customized it in true fingertip style now if you'd like to store stuff in your basket get an extra piece of parcel ribbon and just tie a knot in the bottom like that but if you want to start practicing your shots get some scissors and trim off all the excess at the bottom and leave it open then you're ready to start shooting some hoops no you don't come on then Mar here we go here we go <laughs> Are you ready for an arty party? We're in the party pad! It's the perfect place for a party! So, let's get arty! It's the Mini Makers! All right then, Mini Makers! Are you feeling arty? Yeah! Then let's party! We're gonna have a party and the you are invited The shapes and scraps It's so exciting All the mini makers are partying too But most importantly We invite you Are you ready? Scraps, it's great to see you, my friend. Now, what should our party be about today? Um, ah, ah. No, not yet, Scraps. Let's see if the Mini Makers have got any ideas. Yeah. Come on, Mini Makers, this way. Have a look at the screen, my friends. We're going to show you some clues. See if you can guess what our party's going to be about today. What's that? A chick. It's a fluffy chick. What's next? Very good, a toucan. A robin. A robin. And last but not least... An emu. That's right, an emu. And I'll give you one last clue. What's this, everyone? Feather. That's right, it's a feather. So what's our party about today? Birds. That's right, our party is all about birds. Yeah. Oh, where's Scraps? <laughs> Scraps? <laughs> My favourite bird brain. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> All right then, Mini Makers, it's now time for a real tweet. We're going to make an arty party picture. What should we use today? Feathers! Very good. So we're going to use feathers? Pens. Branches. Paper. Some lovely ideas there, Mini Makers, and thank you, because it's just given me a brilliant idea. Let's get Artie at our party and make some terrific little tweeters with feathers and a paper branch to sit on. But first, we'll need some things from... The That's right! <laughs> we'll need some card and some paper. Wait a minute, a feather boa is a no no noah. Although. We do need some colourful feathers. And we'll need a pen, some stickers, and some glue. <laughs> All right then, mini makers, let's get started, my friends. And the first thing we need to do is bring in a nice piece of background card. Now, you can use any colour you like, but today we're going to use this nice light blue because it's going to be the sky in the background. And our birds need to sit on a branch, so let's make one. Let's bring in this paper, this nice light brown colour, and I'm going to tear a nice thick strip. It doesn't have to be neat, but just make sure it's a nice long strip, like a branch on a tree. There we are, we've got our branch, and now we need to stick it on. OK, Anna, can you grab the glue stick, please? Oh, lovely, good gluing. Great job, let's stick it down. Well, we've got our branch, and now we need some birds to sit on it. So, let's get some more paper. I'm going to very carefully tear out an oval shape. There we go, that looks good, doesn't it? All right, let's put some glue on the back of our bird. And then stick it on. And you'll notice that I've left a bit of a gap between the bird's body and the branch, so that we can draw in the bird's legs later. Right, let's stick down some more, and you can use as many bird body shapes as you want. All right, Mini Makers, now we need to add some feathers. So let's put some glue down first and then stick them down. What else should we put on our birds, Mini Makers? Beaks! Beaks, that's right. So we've got these triangles of card here. And let's stick that down. Should we do another beak? Now we need to add some eyes, and we can do that using stickers. There we go. And all we need now are our bird's legs. Let's use a pen to draw on the bird's legs. So just nice lines down like that. And make sure that the legs are standing on the branch. Do you like the picture, Mini Makers? Yeah! Well, I'm glad you like it, because now you're going to get your very own chance to make your own arty party picture. But first, you need to put on your... Arty apron! Yeah! Because it's time to... I love your bird here is a flamingo. It looks very nice with a long neck. And how did you make the beak? I put one triangle on the flamingo and I stuck another one on top. Very good. What a great idea. And I wonder, has anyone else ever had any arty ideas to do with birds? Let's find out. Henri Matisse was a famous artist. When he was older, he was known for cutting paper with scissors to create art. One day, 
he decided to cut out a paper bird, but he didn't like what he'd done. Oh, I'm such a feather brain. That's not it. <sighs> then he had a brilliant idea. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> Matisse had a stain on the wall of his flat. <laughs> I put too much ketchup on my baguette. <laughs> and he decided to use the paper bird to cover the stain and disguise it. But he didn't stop there. Over the following weeks, other shapes were cut out and put up on the same wall. What can I say? I eat a lot of ketchup baguettes. I have a lot of stains. Fish, coral, leaves and more birds were all stuck to the wall. It's like living in a rainforest. Where's my brolly? <laughs> it's amazing to think that a paper bird that was actually a mistake could inspire such a brilliant work of art. I really am a cut above the rest. <laughs> <sighs> wow. You see, sometimes the biggest mistakes make the best works of art. Now let's see how the mini makers are getting on. Jack, I love your picture of birds standing on a branch at night time. Now, how did you make your picture look like the night time? I used the big green star for the north star, the little white ones for the ones far away. Well done, Jack. Keep making. Oliver, I love your picture. We've got a nice little caterpillar on the branch here and the bird's nest. How did you make that? I made the bird's nest with yellow stickers and grey paper. Lovely, and some feathers too. Well done, my friend. Keep making. <laughs> Evie, I love your picture. Your fluffy birds are sitting in something. What are they sitting in? Um, eggs. They're sitting in eggs. How did you make them? And I made them um, with paper and card. What a great idea! Making paper eggshells and then using a pen to draw the cracks. Well done, Evie. And well done, Mini Makers. You've all <laughs> done a great job. And I can hear a noise. It sounds like someone snoring. Who is it, everybody? The Shapes! That's right, it's the Shapes. And I think we should wake them up. So after three, one, two, three. Wake up! Circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air, triangles everywhere. I am a square. Everybody draw a square, draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody, bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. I am a circle. Yay! What picture are the circles making? Can you guess? That's right, it's two owls. That was fantastic, Circle. It's time to get back on the shelf. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> Scrap surprise party popper. <laughs> to make a brilliant bird's nest like this. Scrunch some tissue paper into a nest shape. Then stick the ends together. 
and roll some modelling clay into an egg shape. Next, fold a piece of paper into a beak like this and push it into the modelling clay. Push two feathers into either side to make wings and now use a pencil to make the eyes. Make two more egg shapes and put them in the nest. Then last of all, you put your bird in too. What a cheeky chick, Scraps! And you can make any type of bird's nest you like. Good bird's nest, Mini Makers. And Theo, I love your bird. How did you make the wings? I've put a feather in behind to make it fade into a different colour. Oh, very nice indeed. Well done, Theo. Lots of different colours in your bird's wings. And Enno, I love your birds. How did you make the eyes? By using a pencil to poke the whole poke holes inside them. Well done, Enno. That is brilliant. And over here, Evie, you've got different colours in your bird. How did you do that? Um, I got the modelling clay and I rolled it up and then I put them together. What a great idea. And Mini Makers, I've got a great idea now. Everyone follow me this way. Come on, my friends. That's it. Come on. That's it, Mini Makers. Round you come. Now you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it's going to be today. What picture are today's Mini Makers making? <laughs> Any ideas? <laughs> what do you think it could be? Right, it's a great picture of a duck. And that sound is great as well. It means it's time for... LRT Party Games! Yeah! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which Mini Makers are playing today! It's Jack! Yeah! Who's next? Let's find out. It's Alicia! Yay! And last but not least, off you go. It's Shane! Yay! Fantastic! Well done, Mini Makers. You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yay! My friends, you're going to use all of these lovely, colourful feathers to make a beautiful picture of a bird, a bit like this one here. But the big difference is, you're going to make a really big picture! Look at this, Mini Makers. And we've put lots of special sticky stuff down so you know where to put all of your feathers. It sounds easy, but actually, it's a race against time. You've got to put down all of your feathers before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> so, my friends, Alicia, Jack and Shane, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so, too. Good luck. Ready, steady, <laughs> go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's feathers everywhere. <laughs> wow, it's very colourful. Oh, keep going as quick as you can. <laughs> oh, and time is up. Back over here, Mini Makers. Well done. Come on, let's have a look. Wow, look at that. Very colourful. And now we need a slight breeze so that we can blow all of the extra feathers away. Here we go! Ah! Oh. 
<laughs> Look at that! It's a beautiful, colourful picture of a bird. <laughs> well done, my friends. But now it's time to tidy up. So go on, off you go, Mini Makers. We've had a brilliant arty party today. We've had fantastic fun making colourful bird pictures and tissue paper nests. We learnt how Henri Matisse used paper birds in his artwork. And we had lots of fun making a really big feathery bird. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your fun's just been yeah! Yeah! Yes, that's right. Our party's over. But your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Bye.